guys, and welcome back to Let's Play of Tales of Vesperia with Alexia Rote Games. On the last episode, we went through the Koi Woods, um, meeting up with a new party member who's um, called Carol. Um, we teamed up with Carol after reaching Hello and finding out that the tree here, which um, is usually the barrier of the town, is not functioning and is decaying. Um, so we teamed up with Carol to fight an egg bear. Um, and to collect some other items so that we could potentially heal the tree, which is what we're going to do today. We have got all of the items and we're going to just um, head up and try and heal a tree. Let's get going, shall we? I mean, why not? Oh wait, no, we have to take them to the, the guy, right? We have to take all of the items to the guy to get the panacea ball. I know what we're doing. This is fine. I've played this game before. Oh gosh, give me a panacea bottle, please. Ah, you're back. Have you gotten all the ingredients together? We've got everything. Egg bear claw, nea fruit, and Laluria petals. That's everything. <laughs> all right, let's get this stuff made. Yes, please. Select so synthesis from the shop to use materials to create items. If you have all the necessary materials to create an item, simply select an item from the list to create it. Try selecting Panacea Ball from the list. Okay, synthesis. Um, it's not like we do anything else, so yeah. Thank you. There you go. One Panacea Bottle. Now we'll be able to cleanse the poison! Let's go, quickly! Whoa, whoa, settle down. You'll drop the bottle if you're not careful. Oh, I see. Well then, let's go! Prudently! I wasn't ready for the voice. Oh god, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, it's just Carol talking normally and Estelle talking normally and then just a different voice for Yuri. It throws me off every time. Hi. Um, so now I can look at synthesis. That's good. I can make magic lenses? Wow. I forgot about that. Oh, special flag. Yeah, we need to get that at some point. Um, although I need to get some bat wings for that. Um, Oh, nice. I can already make some stuff, so that's good. Um, I'm not gonna yet, but this is gonna become very important later on. Oh, lemon gel's nice. Okay. Um, okay, let's go heal the tree, because that's what we came here to do in the first place. <laughs> um, clearly, that should really be our priority right now. Our priority, if you will. I'm gonna just shut up now. Have you made the antidote to cleanse the tree of poison? Carol, it's up to you. I'm no good at this sort of thing. Who, me? Okay then, here goes! Didn't Carol say there was someone he wanted to show the blossoms of Halor to? I think so. Here's hoping we aren't too late. The tree is... Please, great tree of Halur, restore the fallen barrier! Please! No way! Was the dosage too small? Or maybe this isn't the right way? We'll have to get another Panacea bottle. Oh, I'm afraid that's impossible. That was the last of the Luluria petals. But... but we tried so hard. Please, Great Tree. Estelle. Huh? 
Amazing! Can this be? Is she using healing arts? It's like a dream. There's no way. And yet... <sighs> yay, yay! <laughs> You're the greatest! Thanks for making the tree of Halur healthy again! We owe you our gratitude. Thanks to this, our city can live once more. But what did I just... That was incredible, Estelle. Can you get up? Yuri! Flynn's gonna be so surprised to see the flowers blooming. <laughs> That'll show him. You and Flynn seem to have such a strange relationship. You are friends, aren't you? He's just someone I grew up with, that's all. Um. Aren't those the people from the castle? We can't let these people get caught up in this. Let's lay low for a while. Huh? What did I miss? Where are you guys going? Well, I mean, apparently we're gonna go somewhere that's not in light of sight of Zagi. <laughs> but holy cow, guys. Holy cow. That animated cutscene is one of my favorites in any Tales game ever. Holy cow. <laughs> I just love that moment with Estelle in the tree. It's so good. Anyway, hi. We have a skit here. Blastia. Halur's flowers sure are beautiful. I feel like I'm dreaming. Yeah, they're even nicer than I thought they'd be. Yeah, this really makes it feel like our hard work was worth it. Halur shouldn't worry about monsters attacking, as long as the barrier stays like this. Halur's tree will keep everyone safe. Absolutely it will. Um, I mean, if it doesn't, then <laughs> that's not great. We kind of need it to. Now I can get these chests. Oh, man. Nectar ball. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I forgot that that's a thing. And then... Holy ball. Okay, cool. Hi, guys. How you doing? Um, Alright, we need to apparently lay low, so... Let's find out where we're going next, I guess. Um, somewhere to lay low? Who knows? Man, those guys are a pain in the neck. Wish we could wait here for Flynn to come back. Who's this Flynn person? He's an Imperial Knight that Estelle's got a crush on. What? I don't have a crush on him. You don't? Oh, I get it. You two are already a thing, then. No, it's not like that at all. Well, anyway, we best be getting away from the town. Yes, you're right. We wouldn't want to cause trouble for the villagers. Do you know where this Flynn guy went off to? You could follow after him. Didn't they say he'd gone off to the east? Yes, they did. I'd like to get to Ospio somehow. Anyway, let's get out of here before the goon squad shows up. Please wait. You deserve a reward for restoring our tree. Please stop by at my house. Oh, please don't mind. I will be waiting at my house. Please come. Uh, wait. A reward? What do you say? Well, I guess we can't ignore his offer and leave. I wasn't really sure what I did back there. I don't think I deserve anything. Let's just stop at the mayor's house. We can still decline his offer there. Sounds like a good plan. Oh, we have another skit here. Red eyes at the tree of Halur. Were those the red eyes? So you got both the Imperial Knights and those guys after you? Yeah, I seem to be a big hit with all the weirdos. And what did you do to get so popular? Yeah, there's 21 years worth of stuff. Listing everything might take a while. On second thought, never mind. I don't want to hear it. But I want to hear it. I'm nosy. I want to know. Okay, um... Uh, I think we're... Oh, uh, repeat's really blue on TP. Should I sleep at the end? I didn't really want to have to spend my money on this, but... I guess I'll sleep at the end. Just in case. I mean, at least this way, if we're leaving town, then we won't die. <laughs> um, okay, let's go and see the mayor. Hi, I'm a member of the map making guild. My job is to make maps, but I also collect information on synthesizing. I'll let you know when there's new information. Check back often. Oh, forgot to introduce myself. My name is Kozakura. We'll be seeing a lot of each other around various towns. 
What's today's suggested synthesis? Today's suggested synthesis Rapier, Mole, Wood Mole plus one, Karakaze plus one. And it tells you what you need, which is actually really good. Oh, and it gives you the skills as well. I forgot how it, you, uh, uh, I forgot how useful this guy is. I'll let you know when there's new information. Check back often. We'll, we'll, if I remember to. If I remember to. Do I need to buy any more items while we're here? Um. Okay, we could use another magic lens. Um. Other than that, I think we're pretty much good. Um. Yeah, I have all these. I don't have these. I only have 690 gold, though. Uh, huh. Let's buy one of the ring mail. I only have 90 gold now. I'm gonna buy some eggs. There we go. 50 gold. <laughs> I'm, I'm so rich. Okay, let's go and see the guy, the, the bear, and then we can head out. Mayor, hi, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Here, make yourself at home. Thank you, but unfortunately we need to be leaving very soon. Are you leaving before that young knight is back? The uh, situation's changed a bit. Did something come up? You could say that. If there's anything I can do to help, don't hesitate to ask. We appreciate the sentiment, but we can't ask you for your help. I see. Then it's not much, but I'd at least like you to take this. Who, me? I didn't do anything at all. But since your friend helped us out so much... Well then, I'd be happy to... No, we can't take that. Oh, um, yeah, I, I guess I can't take that. But then how will I ever repay you? Well, how about this? The next time we come into town, set us up with VIP Blossom viewing picnic seats. That's a great idea. I can't wait. All right, then. The next time you're here, I'll put my heart and soul into paying back what you've done for us. Oh, can I ask you one thing? Have you ever heard of a town called Ospio? Ospio? Ah, yes, I believe that was the name of the City of Shade. The City of Shade? From what I've heard, the town lies between tall mountains, and sunlight rarely reaches its gates. Every now and then, a few quiet folks in cloaks and hoods come to our town to get supplies. But they're quite creepy, to be honest. Our town doesn't deal with them much. Where is the town located? Towards the east, I think. I wish I could tell you the exact location. Flynn was headed east as well, wasn't he? Yeah, I suppose a city of scholars might have some link to blast you after all. Thanks. That's all I needed. I'm coming for you, Mordio. Alright, just monologue to yourself about Mordio if you like. That's fine. Alright, looks like we can finally head out of Halur and head towards Ospio. This may be a selfish thing to say, but I'm happy this means we're continuing our journey. I haven't known this sort of freedom until now. <laughs> so, Carol, what are your plans? I want to go to the port city and cross over to Tolbikia from there. So I guess it's goodbye then. Huh? Thanks, Carol. It's been fun. Please take care of yourself. On second thought, Maybe I'll stick with you guys a little while longer. Why? You guys would be lost and lonely without me around. Well, you have come in surprisingly handy, Captain. Well then, let's all go together. So, east was it? Yeah, Flynn went east. Okay. I'd like to get to Ospio somehow. Anyway, let's get out of here before the goon squad shows up. At the end of that, that just repeated the lines from before? That? That's weird. That's not normal. Okay. Oh god! Hey, so just who is this Flynn guy anyway? Were you and him seeing each other, Estelle? What do you mean, seeing each other? Flynn is Yuri's friend. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Two friends going after the same girl? You got a little wild side, don't you, Estelle? What do you mean, wild side? No, it's alright. You can keep your secrets. He so got the wrong idea. Oops, I am. Um, I panicked, I'm sorry. <laughs> I panicked, sorry, at this game. Okay, what happens if we go back into Halur? Hmm. 
Nothing? Nothing at all? Cool. Okay, let's leave again then. <laughs> I mean, if nothing happens, then, you know, no point in hanging around. Oh man, I am so sorry. I didn't mean to start out in a panic, but like, again, I panicked. That rhino, the rhinoceros was coming for me and it was not happy. Um, all right, let's head towards Aspio then, the city of scholars. Actually, now that it's light, if I go back over here, no, it goes back to being dark, okay. <laughs> so we have to actually go to Aspio then. Okay, that's fine. I sometimes forget how this game works. Let's head into the sealed city of scholars, Aspio. It looks like this is Ospio. It's so gloomy and damp here. It's giving me the chills, too. It's because the city is in a cavern. I wonder if the lack of sun drives the people here to do shady things, like stealing Blastia cores. Um, looks like we need to head on in then, so, okay. May I see your passport, please? Our... passport? This is an Imperial facility. We can't just let anyone inside, can we? Passport? You don't have one of those, do you? An associate of ours is inside. Could you please let us through? If you filled out the official visitation paperwork, then you ought to have gotten your passport from this associate of yours. This is the first we've heard, though. If you won't let us in, perhaps you could call him to the gate for us? What's your associate's name? Mordio. M mordio We can't help you. You'll need to mail in a request and have a passport officially issued to you. Damn. Don't budge an inch, do you? Excuse me, but did a knight by the name of Flynn happen to stop by here? All information about the establishment is classified. We cannot share even small details with outsiders. So you can't even tell me why Flynn was here? No, of course not. So what you're saying is that Flynn really did come here? Uh, I don't know who you're talking about. A knight named Flynn? Never heard of him. Could we at least leave him a message? Give it up, Esteliz. We'd have more luck asking a brick wall for help. Let's just go. But Flynn's inside. What? We're just gonna give up? I'm not going to give up. I'm going to see Flynn. And I'm gonna take back that Blastia from that thief Mordio and give him a beating he won't forget. So can't we look for another way in? Of course we can. Let's take a stroll around, why don't we? As a last resort, maybe we could go over the walls. I think you'd have a hard time going over the walls. They look really tall. Oh wait, no, uh, actually no, there's a gap. But you'd probably get into whist. Oh well, let's, um, let's head over to this door then. Because we know that it's here. Doors like this never open when you want them to. I guess we'll have to climb over the wall and open it from the inside. A little quick to jump to our last resort, aren't you? Let's wait for Flynn to come out then. Even if Flynn comes out, it's not like he's gonna bring Mordio out with him. Well, if Flynn comes outside, we can just ask him to let us in, can't we? He'd never go for a plan like this. He's far too much of a goody-goody. Carol, what are you doing? There! It's open! Huh? You can't do that! Your guild specializes in hunting monsters, right? Or are you guys into thieves' guild type stuff too? <laughs> um, yeah, well, I'm pretty much the only one who can do anything like this. Well, good job. Shall we? No, that's bad. We should just wait here for Flynn. I don't have the patience to wait for Flynn to just happen to walk out of this town by chance. It was unquestioning obedience to laws and authority in times like this that made me quit the Imperial Knights in the first place. But... but... 
Well then, Estelle, keep a look out here for us, won't you? Wait, but... but... um... I'm going with you! Man, there are a lot of Mordio lookalikes here, aren't there? Excuse me, do you have a minute? Well, what do you want? Would you happen to know if a knight named Flynn Shifo has come through here? Flynn? Oh, that guy. He was saying something about going to catch someone who'd been vandalizing ruins. Where is he now? I couldn't say. My research keeps me too busy to pay attention to things like that. I... I see. I'm sorry to interrupt you. I'll be taking my leave then. Hey, wait up. Tell me one more thing. Is there a famed mage named Mordio around here? Yeah, there are people who want to see that weirdo. So I was right. You know Mordio? No, uh, I don't know anything at all. I don't associate with people like that. Hey, I'm not done yet. What? What is it? Tell me where the mage is. Mordio lives alone in a shack back that way. Go and see for yourself if you want. Thanks. Are you sure about this? Hmm? Everyone seems to get all out of sorts just from hearing that guy's name. It's weird. Yeah. Doesn't it bother you? Well, he's a blastia thief. It's no wonder people don't like him. Well, I mean, that's one reason for it, I guess. But do these people know that he's a blastia thief? That's the real question here. Okay, we have this guy here, an ex-knight. You know, Yuri, your attitude, your behavior, they don't seem very knightly. Where'd that come from? I mean, we're entering the city through a back entrance, like thieves. This coming from the guy who picked the lock. I'm just tagging along to find Flynn, and now you've turned me into a thief. We haven't stolen anything, sheesh. I mean, <laughs> to be fair, he was only in the nights for three months, so... Hi there, how are you doing? Lounge, bookshelf. Would you like to rest for 200 gold? It's just a bookshelf, of course. Uh, no thank you. I don't have the money. We're all used to sleeping on bookcases, but it might be a little rough for first-timers. Do come again. Will do. I guess. Oh, Fortune's Market, hi. Many thanks. Fortune's Market, always bringing you what you need, when you need it, at the price that's right. Uh, oh, okay. Or so I'd like to say, but with business ruined, we aren't really able to stock a very wide variety of products. <sighs> well, I mean, that's not good. I actually meant to look at this stuff. Uh, I don't have enough to buy an orange gel, so I guess we'll just suffer. This is fine. <laughs> you can buy dart balls now as well. That's, I, I'm not used to getting them so early in the game. Okay, um... Right, let's, um... That's the synthesis man. He moves fast. Let's just head out of here. Um, we can always go back to check if we're missing anything later. Um, can't remember, is there anything up here? Except for a guy in a weird hood. What's this? Hi. Hmm. The management list and number of Blastia don't match. Well, that's not good. We have a skit here, lots of books. This city sure has a lot of books! I'm not really too crazy about reading. And have a hard time sleeping in this place. Yeah, you seem like you're too jittery to sit still and look at something for too long. You're one to talk. Hey, what happened to Estelle? She's been over there reading books ever since we got here. Hmm. Estelle, time to get going! Hmm. Once she starts reading, you can't pull her away. Huh? Did you say something? This seems to be literature from an ancient civilization. <laughs> She's not even listening. Well, I mean, let her have her fun. You know, it's her first time here. It's also our first time here. It's locked. It must be a top secret facility. The keyhole has a unique shape. Maybe we can break in. I mean... Oh, maybe that's why they put that the keyhole has a unique shape, because that way Carol can't pick the lock. <laughs> oh, I've just realised that. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Okay. <laughs> right, what happens if we go down this way? Um... I'm pretty sure this is just the way back to the guards, right? We'll get caught by that guard if we go this way. 
Well, let's not get caught by the guard then. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything else for us to do here, so we might as well just head over to this little shack in the corner. Keep out. Seriously. Mordio. I guess this is the place. I think people usually try knocking first. Looks like no one's home. What should we do? No point in hesitating when you're heading into a den of thieves. No, I don't want us to commit any more crimes. I guess that means it's my turn then. What? Your turn? We shouldn't do that either. Nothing to it. Wait for me. Please, wait. <sighs> Why does he always do that? This is crazy. Who could live in a place like this? You can pretty much live anywhere you can eat and sleep if you set your mind to it. Yuri, don't you have something to say first? Uh, hello. We're coming in. And the door? Carol here, open your door. Sorry about that. Honestly, Yuri. Excuse us. Is anyone home? It's a good thing no one's here. That means we get to look for evidence. I mean, if you say so. Okay, I um, might as well have a, a look around. What's this? Oh, check this out! It's a Blastia model! Hmm, whoever made this was pretty talented. It's a model of a Grand Blast Blastia. It's not working, though. Grand Blastia? Grand Blastia refers to especially large types of Blastia, including but not limited to Barrier Blastia. Read that in a book too, huh? Well, I mean, probably it's a stale. <laughs> the person who lives here must be quite an ardent scholar. Just because someone studies hard, that doesn't mean their actions are, are right or just. Hey, the cover's about to fall off this one. Treat books with respect. Priceless information is written on their pages. It, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Estelle's gonna just lecture you about books for the rest of your time here, probably. Hi, what's this? That's a Blastia formula. Feel free to step inside if you'd like. Aren't you cold? I've had enough crimes for today, thank you. <sighs> Meh, it's not such a big deal. Not a big deal? Breaking and entering is a crime punishable by at least a year in prison and a fine of up to 10,000 gold. Did you not notice how messy this writing is? I can write nicer than this. But they say people with bad writing have good hearts. Well, I have good handwriting and a good heart. How about that? Estelle, do you know what this formula means? It resembles a magic circle that uses fire, but I'm not sure... But at least you understand it a little bit. It means nothing to me at all. Well, yeah, you're not a magic user, so that makes sense. Um, is that everything here? Um, okay, I can check the books. Shut up! Huh? Hey, hold on! Thieves? No! What are you- Wait! Be gone! Help! <coughs> uh, why me? A girl? If you can pull tricks like that, Why'd you bother skipping town back in Zafius? Huh? Skipping town? Why would I need to skip town? 
for stealing the core of Ablastia from the lower quarter in the capital. What else? What? You're calling me a thief. Have you ever heard of common sense? Sure. So you break into a home, call the owner a thief, and wave a sword in their face. What the hell kind of sense is that? Hey, dog! You stay back, you... you dog! And you, kid, give him back. What do you mean? The Blastia, the Blastia, give him back to me! What's with you? My name is Esteliz. We're terribly sorry for barging in on you like this. Yuri, Carol, you too. Sorry. So, what do you want? Well, you see, Yuri has followed a Blastia thief here all the way from the Imperial capital. And? And that Blastia thief wore a cape, was short, and their name was Mordio. So? Hmm. Well, Mordio is certainly my name. Rita Mordio, to be exact. And the height matches up, too! What do you have to say for yourself? I told you, I have no idea what you're... Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Follow me. What? Uh, maybe you didn't hear me. We're not finished here. Just follow me, would you? There's talk that some thieves have turned up in the Shykos ruins. Thieves? Are you sure about that? It came from an Imperial Knight who asked me for help. It should be trustworthy. Do you think that knight might have been Flynn? It's gotta be. Looks like she shot him down, though. Hey, remember what that guy outside said about someone vandalizing the ruins? Which means the thief who stole the Blastia Corps could be there. Hmm, maybe. Finished chatting? Let's go. All right, but don't even think of making a break for it. You don't have to come. If you want, I'll just call the guards. Why don't we give it a try? It sounds like Flynn might even be there. It's up to you. Go to jail, make a run for it, or follow me. Pick one. Okay, okay. We'll go with you. The Shykos ruins are even further to the east, once you leave the city. A new page has been added to the battle book. Rita, join the party. All right, we have another party member. That was eventful. I will also have a skit here, Rita. Rita's a little scary, huh? Really? She's about what I'd expect. Seems like she's in a crappy mood, too. That's because you broke into her house, Yuri. I don't exactly feel like being on my best behavior when I'm dealing with a core thief. What will you do if you're wrong about her? If I'm wrong, I'll apologize. You'd better remember that when the time comes. Oh, were you listening? I just happened to overhear. So you think I'm scary, do you? Watch it, Carol. She's definitely the kind to hold a grudge. Hey! D don't scare me like that! Hey, if she fireballed you all, this she'll probably do it again. Oh, I can look at this again? Did you make this? What's with the 20 questions? It really is amazing how you can make this kind of thing. It's nothing special. Anyone can do it, really. I, I guess so. <laughs> I mean, if you say so, Rhea. Rita, did you read this entire book? It looks so difficult. What would be the point of having a book if you're not even going to read it? I'm starting to get a headache. Are you okay? <laughs> Just from looking at a book for 20 seconds, okay. <laughs> Yuri, are you okay? This is a fire-based formula, isn't it? Well, yeah, uh, sure. So you understand this stuff? Yes, I've read about it in books. Hmm. Okay, she's definitely... Yeah. <laughs> okay, we have a skit here. Call me Estelle. Your name is Esteliz, right? Yes, but that's kind of long to say easily. Please call me Estelle. You look like some fancy noble, Esteliz. Why are you with that jerk? Oh, I think that Yuri is a good person. And really, I don't mind if you call me Estelle. All right, Esteliz. She's tough. Yeah, very. And stubborn. 
Okay, let's, um... Actually, yeah, let's first of all put her in my party. Uh... Bye, repeat. Okay, um... There we go. That's my party. That, that's, that's how I like it. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna... Boop. Boop. There we go. I might place her for a little bit. Because it's been a while, but playing as her is always fun. Yeah, okay. I'm never gonna be able to read any of her physical attacks, but <laughs> at least I know how to do her in arts. Okay. Alright, let's head upstairs, because we never got to go up there before. And there should be something interesting here, maybe. Huh? What's this? Oh, the collector's book. It's a self-updating book that makes it easy to record all the items you find. A self-updating book, huh? I guess I'll just have to have a look and see what you mean. Sure, that'd work too. It's extremely useful to have. Take it. Let's take it with us. Oh, acquire the following. Collector's book. A book to record items you've obtained. Try collecting every item and complete the book. Huh? Hey, get a load of this. Most of the pages are blank. Are you sure you're a world-renowned researcher? Oh, Rita. <laughs> she just doesn't get out much, I don't I think. Oh, man. It takes a pretty wicked person to lie so convincingly about her crimes. Hey, wait! A girl's dresser is strictly off-limits. Even if it's full of evidence of her own misdeeds? I'll be the one to look. Wait, what are you- Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. What do you think she found? Feminine secrets. Hey, I'll get you back for that! Estelle, you better watch out. No, it's you I'm talking about! You! Oh, Rhea. <laughs> what feminine secrets did she find? I still don't know! <laughs> it's been years and I still don't know exactly what they were talking about. I feel so dumb. <laughs> oh, man. Anything else in here? Um, nope. No, okay. I could have just stayed down there then, but nope, I, it's fine. I had a bit of a run around. Okay, let's um, not go back up the ladder, that's silly. Let's head out of town, shall we? Um, which way do we go, actually? Do we go through the back or through the front? Uh, we can go through the front now, right? Because we've got Rhea, right? Yeah, now that we've got Rhea, we're fine. We can just leave. It's great. Okay. Alright, oh, we have a skit here. Dog language. Repeat's getting really good at handling items, don't you think? Yeah, but I don't want to eat any gels that have been in a dog's mouth. <laughs> he said, come on, don't be like that. If things go bad, take it. That's one big mouth he's... Wait a minute. Did he really say that? All I heard him do was bark. Yeah, stick around long enough and you'll figure him out. Right, Repeat? <laughs> you look a little jealous, Rita. <laughs> no way. Yeah, she's totally not jealous or anything. God. <laughs> Alright, hi. I got encounter like when one of them was all the way up there. Okay, that's fine. What a pain! They're everywhere! We'll crush them all! Oh, flickering blaze, burn! I, I realized as soon as I started casting that 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 was a completely wrong direction, but okay. Okay, it's been a while since I've played as Rhea, so this is fun. Okay. Rudolph! Okay. Possibly. Again, okay, never gonna be able to read any of these arts, but uh, I didn't mean to jump. Oh. Carol, we do have a hero for a reason. Yeah, I beat you into next week. Next week? But can you really? 
Never mind. Okay. These are the threads that weave our future. Oh, she she learned a skill. Nice. And um, repeat leveled up. I feel a little bit bad for putting him out of the party, but it's fine. Okay, I'm gonna go back to play as Yuri, but it was fun to play as Yuri for a bit. Actually, no, I'll play as Carol. I've not played as Carol on this playthrough yet, so we need to do that. Fight me. I won't lose. Yes, you will. Yeah. Ow. Oh, flickering yeah. blaze, burn! Ah. Fireball! Okay, ow. Yeah. Ah. Oh, din of this mortal yeah. land! Okay. Are you sure, Will? Are you really? Yeah. Oh, oh gosh, please, burn. Carol is so useless. Fireball. It'll be a hundred years before you can beat me. Because you've lived a lot longer, right? Mm, not exactly. I'm sure Rita got the last hit there, but okay. Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> All right, let's head over to the ruins. Um... Do I keep as Carol? Do I... I'll stay as Carol for now. Okay, fight me. I feel like an easy win. Don't get careless. Yeah. Ha. Ha. Drag it of this modest <laughs> land. Okay, I'm gonna combo off the least. Drag it over. Drag it over. Fence strike. Drag it over. Odin of this modest land. Star I'm never gonna get over there. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I don't have enough thing to cook, that's fine. I feel power running all through my body. Leveled up, nice. Yeah, Carol's way too slow. I'm sorry. Let's let's go back to Oh, I now have a lot of gold. Just fight a bit and you get loads of gold. Wow. Well, let's go to King of Adventure, actually. Um And also fight a chirpy, because why not? Put out your hand. Like this? Yay! What, what was that? It was a high five, obviously. <laughs> oh man. Okay, I'm, lo I'm loving having Rhea in the party again. This is great. I just keep getting stronger. Nice. Okay, King of Adventure, here we come. Unless we get attacked by a Rhinosaurus, in which case, yeah. All right, is there anything new here? No, probably not. Uh, I don't think so. Oh well. These are the Shikos ruins. It looks like there aren't any Imperial Knights around. <laughs> These footprints are still fresh. There's a lot of them, too! Which means it's either the knights, the thieves, or both. Some of these footprints must be Flynn's. Could be. Hey, over here! Hurry up! I see. So first you get us alone in the dark, then you zap us, huh? Hmm. Zap. I like the way that sounds. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Why are you smiling like that? Let's try to get along now, okay? Well, that wasn't disconcerting at all. Thanks, Rhea, for making us definitely feel comfortable here. Okay, let's have a look around the ruins because... Hello, items. I don't need another magic lens, unfortunately. But I will come back for that when I need it. Which I'm sure I will at some point. Um, is there anything around here? Nope. Okay. I love this music. And also just, like, the ruins in general. Uh, oh, that was a lot of gold. Wow. Okay, now I can buy a lot of items. <laughs> wow. Gold. Money. Diamonds. Okay, um, let's head over this way now. More items, please? More gold would be great. Um, no. Yes, life ball. Is that 15 that I have now? Uh, life ball. No, I have 10. Okay. I know I had somewhere in the range of that number. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, hold on. Let's go to that side first. Oh, no, I can't. There's a big slab. Okay, never mind. We'll go this way then. Um, okay. Oh, I can go down this way though, right? Um, it's been a while since I've played, okay? Um, okay, let's treasure chest it up. 
Half guard. Wasn't I gonna buy that? Um, I think I was at some point, but hey, whatever. Why have I got two leather guards? Um, okay. Um, let's... Oh yeah, if you learned the, that, then uh, fine, have an axe. I hate axes. Um, she doesn't have anything to learn off of at the moment, so that's fine. Um, oh, the chapel's actually really good. Um, Carol doesn't have anything else that he needs. Actually, we do have ring mail. I'll have the ring mail. Carol, you can keep the hard mail. Um, because I'm generous, you know. Um, you can have the wood mall. You are learning on your sash. Um, you can keep your broad circlet, though. Okay. Um, he's still learning on that. Leather jacket. Okay. Sorry. Inventory management. The game. Okay, this is an inventory management. The game. I think Brazario was inventory management. The game. Oh man, especially towards the end there. Okay. Ah, uh, don't get stuck. Um. Okay, what's over this way? Looks like no one's here. No Imperial Knights, thieves, or anyone else. Maybe they're further in. How far in are we talking here? It doesn't look like anyone's been here, does it? The information about the underground couldn't have gotten out, could it? The underground? Recently, an entrance to an underground area was uncovered here. A handful of mages are supposed to be the only people who know about it. But it's okay for us to know this? I don't have much choice if I'm to clear my name, do I? Clear your name, huh? The ground is scratched here. It's not like I would have minded letting the thieves have the ruins above ground after we finished the excavation, but it's a good thing we came here when we did. Well then, we'd better hurry up and follow them. All we have to do is move this? Come on, you have to put your shoulder into it. Um, right. Huh? Come on, just a little more. Carol, are you okay? Sure, yeah, that was a cinch. <sighs> Okay, here we go. Alright, looks like we've uncovered another area. Um, but... I don't know whether we have time to... Mm, we can duck our heads in. This is my first time going inside ruins. Be careful over there, it's slippery. What are you looking at? I was just surprised. You're actually a nice person. Oh, I knew it would be a pain to bring you along. I should have just come by myself. Do you always come to research these ruins alone? Yeah. Aren't you afraid you'll get hurt by monsters or traps? There are always risks if you're trying to actually do something. If someone gets hurt, it's an acceptable loss. Even if you're the one who gets hurt? Yeah. Don't you ever worry or hesitate? Worrying about getting what you want without anyone getting hurt? You've had a pretty easy life. An easy life? And Blastia will never betray me, so they're easy to deal with. Rita's amazing. She just comes right out and says what she has to say. She knows exactly what's important to her. I wish I knew what was important to me. Just travel around for a while. You'll figure it out. Alright. So now we have a skit here. Searching the ruins. These ruins feel very different once you're inside them. Yeah, it's weird. And there's all this stuff I've never seen before. What, is this your first time too, Carol? Well, yeah. My specialty's monster hunting. 
Hey, what do you think this is? You really shouldn't be fooling around over there. This place is loaded with traps. Did anyone else just hear a click? Carol, watch out! Ah! Sorry, I thought you were about to get killed. I overdid it. I think I would have been better off getting caught in the trap. Maybe, maybe not. You never know. He might have just saved you. Anyway, we're going to end it off there for today, guys, because um, we've gone on for a little while, and this is a whole dungeon that I don't think we're going to have time to get through. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please let me know down below what you thought of everything that happened in this episode here today, um, including the inclusion the introduction, sorry, of our new party member for the now at least, um, Rita. Yeah, let me know what you think of her down below. But yeah, thanks again for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Hope you have a great day, night, or whatever the time it is for you. And I will see you next time.